E D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I hope you guys had fun learning the alphabet today. I sure did. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone. Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Numbers, Letters, and Fun. We're gonna have a blast learning how to count with Play-Doh today. If you have a son, daughter, little sister, or younger brother who needs to learn their numbers, be sure to have them check out this video. We also get 8 Play-Doh cans to work with. Here's red and pink. This is green and white. Orange and purple. And blue and yellow. Let's open it up. Awesome! So many pieces to work with. Since we're only doing numbers today, we'll be using the blue and red pieces. I'll start with the blue Play-Doh. Here's the number one. Say it with me. One. Here's the number two. Let's all say it together. Two. Number three. One more time. Three. Hmm, I wonder what number this red play will be. It's four. Let's all repeat that. Four. These Play-Doh numbers are starting to look like birthday candles. Thumbs up if you agree. Here's number five. Let's hear it once more. Five. Time to use the pink Play-Doh. This is the number six. Say it with me. Six. Here's seven. What was the number? Seven. Here's number eight. Eight is great. This is number nine. One more time. Nine. It's time for our final number. Try to guess what it is. That's right, it's 10. The last number we're doing is 10. Here's a quick review on what we learned today. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Seven, seven, eight, eight, 
nine, nine, ten, ten. Now let's do it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woohoo! We mastered our one, two, threes today. Good job! This was so much fun! I hope you learned a lot about numbers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'm gonna bring you another DIY popsicle! But this one's gonna be pretty special, because it's not only Lilo and Stitch themed, it's gonna be a melting popsicle! The first thing we're gonna need is some cans of Play-Doh. We'll need blue, white, red, light blue, black, and lavender. And I also have my handy dandy popsicle guide, a roller, a knife, a popsicle stick, a cookie cutter with ridges, and a stitch cookie cutter that comes apart like this. Now our next step is to roll out some blue Play-Doh. This is gonna be the inside of our popsicle. Now I'll lay my guide right on top and cut around it. And here's our first layer. I'm gonna do this one more time, but this time it doesn't have to be as thick. And if you're wondering where this popsicle guide came from, I just cut it out using some cardstock paper. It's really helpful because it ensures that all of our layers are the same shape. Here's our second layer. And here's both of our layers. The next thing we need to do is cut out a section of the corner so we can put in what we're gonna use as the melting factor of our popsicle. Make sure you don't cut all the way through, we're just creating a pocket. And I'm sure you guys guessed it, what we're going to use for the melting factor is some slime. Mine comes in this cute little baby bottle. We just need a little bit so it fits in the pocket and then we're going to cover it up with the other layer. Now for the outside of our popsicle. I'm going to make mine red because it reminds me of Lilo's dress. Now we're going to cut out the shape of Stitch's head. We're going to completely cover the popsicle. Once we get it nice and smooth, we can move on to the next step, which is making Stitch's face. We'll roll out some more blue Play-Doh. Press down our cookie cutter again. This time we're going to use both parts of our cookie cutter. Hi Stitch! We're going to take Stitch and place him right in the hole. Now that that's done, we need to add all the little details to his face. We'll grab some light blue. We'll press down his facial features. And we need to carefully cut out his eye.
Another tricky part is even getting this off the table. We have to be really careful not to ruin the shape. Once that's done, we lay it right on top. The bottom of his mouth is also light blue, so I cut out the shape here. Stitch is starting to come together! Now we'll make the inside of his eye. We'll use some black play-doh. Now we'll press down our stamp and cut out the inside. This one's even smaller, so be really careful not to ruin the shape. We'll stack that on top of the light blue. And then stack some white on top of the black. Hmm, he's still missing his nose. I know what to do. We'll mix some blue and black together to make an even darker color. And then we'll roll it out and stamp it. Hey Stitch, I got your nose! Now as the final touch, I'll add the detailing to his ears. We'll use the outside of the cookie cutter this time. And I'm gonna freehand cut just a little bit of his ears. This part will be the inside of his ear. Yay, our stitch is done. All we need to complete our popsicle is the popsicle stick. Yum, I'd be pretty happy if I got that popsicle. Now let's take a big bite out of it and watch it melt. Do you guys see the slime? Better hurry and eat that popsicle before it all melts. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Lunchtime Creations. We'll be creating a bunch of food to eat for lunch. Thumbs up if you're hungry! The back of the box shows everything that comes with the playset. Let me first take everything out, and I'll show you what we're working with. I'm actually a really big fan of ice cream sandwiches. I'll place this on the dessert tray as well. Hopefully it doesn't melt. I think one of the donuts could use a little bit of sprinkles. I'll use the yellow and red dough. I'll throw in some blue too. I think the sprinkles will go really well here. Yummy, it's like a birthday cake donut now. What do you guys think about these desserts so far? It looks pretty tasty, right? Moving on to the next dessert. I'll let you guess one more time. Do you have an idea of what this is going to be?
I decided to make a lemon sorbet. I'll put it on top of this little cup. Hmm, actually, something doesn't feel right. Hold on. There we go. I added more lemon sorbet in the cup. Now that looks better. I'm really craving some desserts now. Let's test out this extruder. I'll use the white though. I think for this one, I'll make some vanilla ice cream. Can't go wrong with that one. Nice! Here's the vanilla ice cream and the lemon sorbet. These are perfect for the summer. Time to make a double flavored waffle. I got an original waffle on one half, and a chocolate waffle on the other half. Now this is what you call a plate full of desserts. Out of the four I made, which one do you guys like the most? I think I'll still go with that ice cream sandwich one. Well this was a lot of fun, thanks for watching, please subscribe to watch more, see you soon! Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here, and today we're going to be making a delicious jelly donut. We're going to need a bunch of colored Play-Doh, pink, yellow, white, brown, blue, green, and red. We're also going to need a rolling pin, a knife, a cookie cutter with ridges, and for the jelly we're going to use pink slime. The first thing we need to do is roll out a bunch of brown Play-Doh, and I'm going to use my hand just to flatten it like a donut. Next, I need to cut the hole for the jelly. And then I'm going to use my hands to press it down so it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to fill it up with jelly, or in this case, slime. Once that's done, we just need to roll out another piece of brown Play-Doh. It doesn't have to be too big, just big enough to cover that hole we cut. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, we're going to cover it up with more Play-Doh anyway. Next, we need to roll out some pink Play-Doh. This will be our frosting on top. I'm going to use my knife to cut out a pattern. We're going to lay this right on top of the donut. And to decorate the top, we're going to make a bunch of sprinkles. I love having donuts for breakfast. Give this video a thumbs up if you do too. And let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Mine's maple. Mmm, and here's our strawberry jelly donut. It looks pretty tasty! Let's take a big bite out of it and see! What's cool about using a cookie cutter with ridges is it kind of looks like teeth marks. Yum! That was a really big bite! And look at all that jelly inside! If you guys want me to do more DIY Play-Doh videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up! Well this was a lot of fun! I hope you guys enjoyed this video! Don't forget to subscribe to see more! Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Numbers, Letters, and Fun. The last video we learned how to count, 
So this time we'll be playing with the letters and learning the alphabet. Remember, if you have a son, daughter, little brother or younger sister who's trying to learn their ABCs, be sure to have them check out this video. Let's refresh our memories on the Play-Doh colors. Here's red and pink, green and white, orange and purple, and blue and yellow. Yay! Time to open it up! For the letters, we'll be using the yellow and green pieces. Here are all the pieces laid out. I can't wait to show you guys every letter! In my opinion, I think it's a lot more fun learning the ABCs with Play-Doh! This is the letter A! Ah! Uh, A! This is the letter B! B sounds like this! B! B! This is letter C. Letter C makes the sound k, k, k. This is the letter D. Letter D makes the sound D. Here's the letter E. Say it one more time. E. This is the letter F. That's F. And here's G. 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 The letter H. H. Here's the letter I. Let's all say it together. I. Here's the letter J. J. That's J. Here's the letter K. K. That's K. And this is the letter L. L. That's how L sounds. Here's M. 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 This is letter N. 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 Here's O. Letter O. This is the letter P. P. That's P. Here's the letter Q. What letter is this? Q. This is letter R. R. That's R. Here's the letter S. S. That's the S sound. This is letter T. T. That's what T makes. Here's the letter U. Say it with me. U. This is the letter V. V. That's how V sounds. And here's the letter W. W. 
W. This is the letter X. Say it one more time. X. Here's the letter Y. Again, Y. And this is the letter Z. Z. That's how Z sounds. Now that we're familiar with every letter, let's use an example for each one. A is for awesome. B is for buddy. C is for cat. D is for Disney. E is for epic. F is for friends. G is for genie. H is for home. I is for insect. J is for joy. K is for kangaroo. L is for lizard. M is for monkey. N is for nickel. O is for orange. P is for person. Q is for question. R is for rabbit. S is for snake. T is for toys. U is for under. V is for Venus. W is for water. X is for xylophone. Y is for yogurt. And Z is for zebra. Hopefully these examples helped you learn the alphabet a little better. Now let's move on to the final stage. We'll be singing the ABCs. A, B, C, D. It looks like we get two plates. Cool, we can even make some molds from it. We also get this neat cutter. Nice! I can cut my bread into four pieces. Or two pieces. And if you don't want to cut it, I can make one whole piece. I can also make some grapes. Cherries. A lemon or orange. Bananas. And some blueberries. And here's our pizza making set. I can also make a circle shape. Here's my spatula. And I can also create a square shape. I can use this to make an apple. And here's a roller. And this is an apple cutter. This playset also gives you five Play-Doh cans to work with. I'll start by making one lemon wedge. I'll need the yellow Play-Doh for this one. Here's our lemon wedge. It looks sour. Now let's make two cherries. I'll need the red Play-Doh for this one. What's your guys' favorite fruit? Mine's a strawberry.
and here are two delicious looking cherries. Now it's time to make three bananas. I'll need the yellow Play-Doh again. Yum! I'm starting to get hungry! Now let's make four blueberries! Unfortunately, we didn't get blue play-doh, so I'll use the green play-doh for this one. Since it's not blue, we got four green berries. Hmm, I wonder how that'll taste. Now let's make five grapes. Don't worry, this'll be the right color because I have purple Play-Doh. And here are five juicy looking grapes. This fruit platter looks amazing. Now that we have our fruit, let's make some bread. We'll need the white Play-Doh. Here's how it looks in one whole piece. Now let's cut it in half. Cool. And if you want to cut it some more, we can cut it into fours. Yay! Bread for everyone! We can also create some square and circle shapes. But square and circles sound a little boring, so let's use our imagination. We'll call this purple cheese. And this will be a green tomato slice. Now let's make some pizza. We'll put the red Play-Doh on first. And we can use the yellow Play-Doh for crust. This looks really good! Now I'm getting really hungry! I'll use the cutter to slice it up. Pizza is one of my favorite foods. What about you guys?
If you like pizza, here's a slice for you. Creating lunch today was really fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the Play-Doh Magic Squirrel Ice Cream Shop. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. Let's start by opening up the box. Here's everything we'll need to use this playset. Here are the four Play-Doh that they provide for us. This is the base of the playset. We also get two ice cream cups. And these two pieces belong on the base of the playset as well. And here's the instruction manual. Let's start by opening up the Play-Doh. We get one special mint chocolate chip Play-Doh. We get one special birthday cake Play-Doh. We get a pink Play-Doh. And we get a brown Play-Doh. Here's our red sundae cup. And here's our blue sundae cup. And here are all the other items for the playset. We'll be using all of this. Let's start by assembling the playset. We'll need this piece to make the ice cream. And the other two pieces will be our decorating station. Let's start by making a birthday cake ice cream. Place your ice cream cone on the base of the playset and watch what happens. We got a perfect swirl! Now let's add some chocolate chips to the birthday cake ice cream. That looks good! Now it's time to make our mint chocolate chip ice cream. We'll use our red sundae cup for this one.
This looks really good. Let's add some decorations. We'll use the pink Play-Doh to make a strawberry cream. These are the lollipop sticks. These are different designs for the lollipop sticks. A plate with designs on it. Here's another plate with designs on it. And we have a knife. Now it's time to make some sweet candy. We'll begin by mixing the white and blue Play-Doh together. In order to make a swirl in your candy ball, make sure that you use two different types of Play-Doh. Mold it like this. Once you have it molded, place it on top of the set. Keep one hand on the top and twist with your other hand. As you can see, the Play-Doh will slowly go down and your candy balls will start to form. Doesn't that look good? We can also make decorations on the candy balls by placing it on the set, like this. Now we have a square candy. Let's make a lollipop. You can place your candy balls inside the tool and squeeze down. Once you squeeze all the Play-Doh out, get your lollipop stick and twirl it around. Like this. This is the perfect treat if you have a sweet tooth. There's our lollipop. Mm. Let's use this red and yellow Play-Doh to make some more candy balls. Make sure that you don't get too much Play-Doh in your hands or else the machine won't work. Just like before, mold the two Play-Dohs together. Now you have delicious looking candy balls. We'll call these pink lemonade. Now it's time to make our other lollipop. Squeeze down with the tool.
and grab your lollipop stick. And twirl it around just like before. Doesn't that look good? That was the Play-Doh Candy Cyclone playset. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now it's time for you to go out and make some sweet candy. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today we're bringing you Play-Go Dessert Factory by Universe of Imagination. Don't get it mixed up with Play-Doh, it's a little bit different, so let's check it out! The back of the box shows everything that comes with this playset. It even shows images on how to use each tool. Let's open it up! We get five dough cans to work with. Here's a brown one. A white one. A blue one, a yellow one, and a red one. This is the dessert molding tray. The middle of the tray has all of our sweet desserts we can create, and we can use the outer edges to make some toppings. Let's pour out some more goodies. Here's a donut mold, a waffle mold, a roller, an extruder, two little cups, here's a knife and a little spatula. We get two spoons and two forks. And lastly we get not one, but two plates. Awesome! I'll start by using this white dough to make some delicious donuts. This will be for the frosting on top. Now for the main part. I'll use the brown dough to make a chocolate donut. Yum! It's so easy to mix up Play-Go with Play-Doh because they sound so familiar. I will say this though, I think Play-Doh's dough is a little softer. But I do love that this set comes with double-sided molds because both sides can be detailed. It is a bit of a workout for my hand though. Let me just poke out this middle. And voila! I just made a dark chocolate vanilla glazed donut. That sounds really good right now. Let me put it on this plate. There's more yummy treats to come! I'll mix this brown and white dough to make a hazelnut flavor. Now that I've got that finished, I think a blueberry glaze will go really well with it. Let's see how this turns out. A 
I'm getting a real workout with these molts today. Look at that! This looks yummy too! Which donut do you like better so far? Now let's play with this dessert mold tray. You can use the roller to get some more details out of this mold. See? That came out really well! I'll make one more! Can you guys guess what I'm making? I'll give you a hint. It's something cold. Now that I got the second cookie down, I'll need to make one more thing. Are you guys getting an idea of what it is now? If you guessed ice cream sandwich, you're correct!